Welcome back to Bold TV. I'm Caitlin Quisenberry, and I have a special guest with me in the studio today. Her name is Helene Godin. She went from over 20 years as a lawyer to opening her own business called By the Way Bakery. Thank you so much for joining us today, Helene. Oh, it's my pleasure. Um, and so you kind of went from being a lawyer to opening a bakery. What kind of prompted that? What was the journey to that point? It was a little bit of insanity. <laughs> I was working really, really hard as an attorney, mm -hmm. uh, always, for the full 22 years. But the last couple of years were particularly, it was just I was burnt out, I was exhausted, and I didn't have time to even think about what I was going to do next um, while I was still working. Mm -hmm. So I quit without a plan. And I have no idea why this spark went off, but it said to me, I'm, you know, I'm going to open a bakery. I announced this to my family at the kitchen table, and they say, that's great, but you don't know how to bake. <laughs> and um, I said, but I'm going to open a gluten-free bakery. Mm -hmm. And this is 2010, when nobody knew how to do that particularly well. Mm -hmm. and. I was off to the races. Wow. And so you said you didn't know how to bake. So what kind of prompted your love for bakery? Well, when I quit, I had, again, no plan. Mm -hmm. But I knew that having commuted mostly to the city, but for a while I was general counsel at audible.com okay. for three years, I was commuting by car to their offices in New Jersey or before before and after that, I took the train mm. for so many years. And I would leave my sleepy little town just outside of New York City before sunrise and <laughs> often get back <laughs> after sunset. Yeah. And I thought, boy, would I love a job where I could actually see where I lived and yeah. meet my neighbors. And food oh. service is just a natural connection mm. for that. And it was, it was a pretty bold mm -hmm. move, um, but I threw myself into it, learned as much as I can from all angles, not just how to bake, but how to run a small business, how to mm -hmm. do a spreadsheet, what, how to design a store, uh, how to design a logo, working with, with people along the way, of course. Um, and it all came together within the course of a year. Wow, and you said you wanted to get to know your community. Have you been able to get to know your community through this bakery? I have, so when I started, I mean, it was a it was a bootstrapping operation, mm. and so I had a baker and a half, <laughs> and I manned the front of the store mm. because again, I didn't know how to bake. I, I came up with the recipes. Mm -hmm. I spent a year doing recipe development, where my that's believe it or not, where my legal skills really came oh. in, because it was all about research. Okay, um, yeah. but I worked in the front of the store because also, if you're going to be an entrepreneur, it doesn't matter what you're starting. You need to really understand every aspect of the business. So I stood behind the counter for two years and I wow. got to know everyone who walked in. And to this day, I, I will see people on the street and mm. it's just lovely. Did you find that they were all looking for a gluten-free thing and they were like, yes, finally, it's here. I've been looking for this. So I had my niche of gluten-free and dairy-free and kosher, but I wanted people to also, so they needed a reason to travel, but mm. for local business, because there aren't, at least in 2010, there, it wasn't everybody who was going to come. I needed to make sure that what I made was good enough that it could be um, indiscernible from conventional baked goods. Yeah. So that's why I called it by the way, as in, oh, by the way, that delicious baked good you're eating <laughs> <laughs> just so happens to be A straight <laughs> shot. <laughs> so, Can't miss it. <laughs> and what's next for you and by the way bakery? So we have we think we're in we have four locations mm -hmm. we have the upper east side and the upper west side of manhattan we have a the first store the flagship <laughs> in my town of hastings on hudson and we have a store in greenwich connecticut so we've we we're feeling very comfortable retail mm -hmm. wise and we're also in 80 whole foods okay from northern new jersey to maine wow but okay. we are in the bakery department mm -hmm. with cake slices and we're in the freezer section um, with muffins and cupcakes and full-size layer cakes and other things. So the next thing is to conquer center store. Okay. It's called in supermarket lingo, mm -hmm. which means the snack aisle. Oh. And so I happen to have, in addition to bringing you... Oh my goodness, <laughs> Momix! Right, in addition to bringing you some Amy cakes, our sweet little bunt cakes named after my dear friend Amy, <laughs> this is our crunchy, salty, sweet... So good. 
We call it an after-school snack for grown-ups. I love that. And it's gluten-free, dairy-free. And kosher. And kosher. So healthy. So you can... Well, no, I would not say... <laughs> I, 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 you know, as a former lawyer, I have to, I have to be accurate, and no, no one would call it healthy, okay. but it is a wonderful indulgence. Oh, I love it. That looks, and the packaging is beautiful. I, I can't wait. I know this is something I would pick up for sure. Thank you. Um, can we try some of these sweet treats that I have been hearing so much about? Yes. <gasps> wow. Thank you. I'm going to pass that tag. Okay, so here... What do we have here? We have upside down almond cookies. Okay. But right here. <laughs> now they're right side up. <laughs> this is this is our almond cookie. It's mm. our signature cookie. And it's a little crunchy on the outside and chewy on the inside. Mm. And it's got powdered sugar and Wow. No, it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. amazing. As in, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, Thank you so much. I am totally going to finish this one. Please <laughs> end up filming. But thank you so much for joining us. And thank you for watching. Be sure to follow Bull TV, TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram for more. And check out our website at bulltv.com. You guys go have a great day and be sure to keep a lookout for By the Way.